How's it going guys? Welcome back to seven years from now. I know at the end of the f finale, the last episode there, I kind of said like, oh, we'll see if I return to do the epilogue or whatever. And it's been almost a week for me and I just kind of had the thought of like, well, I shouldn't wait years, literally years, over two years to finish this game and then leave it so open-ended like that. Like, ah, maybe. Like, then I'll just be left in the same place of people continually asking, like, are you going to play the epilogue? When are you going to play the epilogue? There's all these side stories, which I honestly thought you had to pay for. Turns out you just have to watch an ad, which is, like, pretty incredible of the developers to make that so easily accessible. That's, like, that, that's amazing. The monetization in this game is very, you know, there is none. They just make you watch ads and not really intrusively, so I really commend them for that. But, yeah, I kind of just felt, you know what, I'll at least do the epilogue side stories i'm not committing because i kind of just might not have the time so i don't want to promise anything um i don't know where to start how were you owie i'm fine i guess i see fine huh yep what about you hmm, i'm fine too i think yeah there's a lot of <laughs> Questions left on the table here. <laughs> laughing. It's so hard to believe. We've really returned to seven years ago. Our bodies are seven years younger, too, so it's harder to move around. Man, how wild would that be? The things I would do. Realistically, I would just enjoy being back in college with so few responsibilities and probably party and waste my time again. So yeah, probably technology I personally don't need. How do you feel? Yeah, I, sh I shrunk, so the world feels bigger? True, the ceiling seems really high. Huh? Did you grow that tall? I mean, you will grow that tall? Well, I'm average, I guess. Oh, wow, I can't wait. Come on, give the short guys a chance, owie. Way to really just assert that from a young age. It's terrible. Terrible attitude. I, I won't become that tall. Still, I want to see. I guess, really, you guys like weren't going to see. That's the whole point, is that this is like all new and exciting. I feel nervous. Maybe I should start drinking a lot of milk. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd do. I'd go back in time and I'd drink gallons of milk. What are you on about? That felt weirdly like English, like British English all of a sudden. <laughs> In, like, the game that has never felt that way, really. Um, so... I know it's weird for me to say this, but... Howie... Thank you for coming back. To seven years ago. I'm surprised. I mean, very happy to see you again like this. But if you both made it back, both succeeded in the experiment... Then, like, I think there would be higher-ups... Who would be like, time traveling exists and it works. And I'm sorry, but the cynical side of me says that you guys would be locked up and experimented on or something. Yeah, me too. I'm just saying it wouldn't be an easy life. Thank you, Rudo. Yeah. So, should you guys go talk to your friends? <laughs> and just, like, let them know what you've been up to, your crazy adventures? But, you know... I didn't expect that. You were the first to come back. You know, that actually I was the second one? That's right. In the first round, it was you who- and Owie never like indicated or told us. No, but you would transport back in time to a point where you would literally be, be unable to tell the other person. That's That checks out. So I... I see, but... It doesn't matter who came first or second, I'm I'm just glad. Honestly, I was nervous. I wondered if you would have remembered our promise. I thought that maybe after seven years, even if you remembered, you wouldn't have cared? Ah, uh, well, just a little bit, but... Actually, I was the same. I was nervous too. Well, that makes two of us. Yep, but I did make a promise at that place, so... You guys can actually go fulfill it. Yeah, I remembered my promise to you as well. And what you said at the end. Those words were in my memories. At the end? What do you mean? 
Oh, right. You said that after you time leaped back, that means you wouldn't know about it because it was erased after I le left back. And so it's just in my memories. Is it about a different timeline? Kind of like that. Okay. You, you guys don't want to discuss further? You got time now. That's the point. By the way, I learned a lot about you in seven years. Maybe even things you don't know about yourself. <laughs> what things? Did I do something weird? No, I don't think I would have. Weird? Never. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Never been weird a day in my life. Except according to pink-haired nurse. Eh, it's a secret. <laughs> oh no, I'm embarrassed now. I wonder what happened. Oh, don't worry. It's nothing weird. I don't believe you. I see. I hope so. Oh, wait. Owie, did you take the vaccine? I was able to open the box, but since the door opened at the same time, I didn't take it. Oh, we're still good with time, but we should hurry. We came all the way back. It wouldn't be funny if we were to die because we were too busy talking. It wouldn't be funny? Per se. <laughs> It'd be sweet. And like a shred. Maybe like a shred funny. Oh, that's true. I, I haven't taken it yet. All right. We should go back and take it then. Let's go. Is this the drama? The locked door? And Owie, can you take the medicine without water? There's actually an easy way of doing that. Ruto, I'm sorry. I can't take that medicine. Wait. <laughs> the vaccine? What medicine are you not taking? This seems devastating. This seems not good. Ah, and from here, you have to start watching the ads. And apparently, free coin? That's an advertisement. Unrelated. Gotcha. Don't focus on that. Just, just the next little step in the epilogue. You know, I can respect this aspect of their monetization strategy as well, because they just gave you whatever it was. Ooh, I want to say like 20 hours or something like that of a game to play. Something wild. It's a, it's a lot. 15 hours, something for relatively free. There's an ad every like a little under an hour, every 30 minutes, something like that. And yeah, if they want to pump an ad to you after every three minute segment of the game, at this stage, I think that's kind of allowed. They've given enough and they got to make the money back somehow if people cared enough to come this far. I, I get it. All right. I have to make sure I'm not late to the hospital. It's weird that it appears that you're just identically in Haruto's room. Didn't, didn't bother drawing a new house or anything distinct there for that. Oh, it's also just weird to realize we're seeing a grown-up owie. That's just, like, not something we've seen. Hmm, Dr. Ichiki should be meeting the director right now. I wonder what they're talking about. If this was yesterday, I would have been able to sneak in when the director had paint spilled on him. <laughs> it's just interesting to think of everything else playing out identically, that her life spun out in its own way for all that time, but, like, every independ independent person still stayed on their same trajectory. Anyway, while Dr. Ichiki is buying me time, I should quickly sneak into the director's office. Ah, uh, maybe their way about, uh, of going about things was slightly different, but, like, their individual, like, missions across all that would have been the same. Hmm. I wonder if there really is no one here. I'm kind of scared. And this is stealing the diary, maybe? Excuse me. It really wasn't anyone. No time to relax, though. I gotta borrow that diary quickly. The safe is at 12.40, right? I mean, I don't think the game will make me remember that. <laughs> It'll happen automatically. The code is my birthday reversed, so open sesame. It opened. I think Haruto commented on that being the case. This should be the diary. All right. It, he never said Owie, though. He just said it was my friend's birthday. Phew, that was nerve-wracking. So this is the director's diary. Dr. Achiki said that I'd, I'd understand him after I read it. I should read this at home. 
It's weird to have something like this, like, to show this to us, because it should be identical, yes? I should start reading it. Hmm, is this the first volume? Ooh, cute picture. Is it a ghost? It, it would be funny to see if Owie's just, like, more observant and more capable, I guess. I feel like I've seen this picture before. I can't remember. I feel like it has something to do with praying? Nah, I can't. Oh, well, I can't remember. But I guess I'll pray to this ghost. Mr. Ghost. Mr. Ghost, please help me out here. <laughs> Haruto said he did the same thing. Wait. What do you mean? How would you... What? Because you did this first, right? Huh? What did I just... Oh, yeah. Praying. Oh, so that was meant to be a bit of like a weird moment. The older Haruto said that he prayed to him to convince the director. What? You never met the older... What? But why do I know that? Yeah, okay. This is the, the intrigue's coming back. Wait, it's strange. How many times have I done this? I was curious about that. Like that you guys just on your first attempts flawlessly executed everything. That would be like amazing. That'd be super interesting. Or like, I don't, like super interesting to have failed, you know, and need to repeat things. But you would always have to still travel back in time, even if you'd done other parts incorrectly. Uh, what? Yeah, so it's an ad for every <laughs> of like the dozen one of these. Huh? Owie, you, you can't take it? But if you don't take it, you'll die. Yeah, that's my main concern, I'd say. Oh, right, you mean you can't swallow it without water? You scared me there. Is that seriously what the fake out was there? Come on, game. Oh, well, that's easy. Haruto, I'm sorry. I know what you're about to say. Easy ways to suck the medicine like you're drinking out of a straw. Is that a thing? Is that a way to swallow medicine more easily? But it's actually dangerous to take it like that. So it's only for emergencies. Right, you're going to die, owie. <laughs> actually, this isn't the first time we've talked like this. I've already done this many times. Wait a minute. Howie, what are you saying? Many times? Then that means... But... But why? I thought we were going to take the vaccine together. Then both of us will live and then we will. I thought that would happen too. At first. That we will both be saved if we take it. But doesn't work out and you end up doing it over and over again yep owie what happened so yeah i'm confused too you and i take the vaccine but even if we take it together you fall asleep first i lose consciousness consciousness for a moment but i get up again later and Maybe the doctors do end up, like, taking one of them away? Oh, right. I took the vaccine with Ruta. Well, you know, if you t take it in your own separate rooms and it doesn't work out, go somewhere else. I don't know exactly what takes place, but if it's like he gets taken away or something when you're both passed out, go to the forest or something. Hide first. You got, like, a minute to run away, right? Ruto. The same thing happens. Does he just die? It's not a very good vaccine, is it? <laughs> what are you just running back and forth? What, what, are you, what are you doing? If so, there's a notebook, but nothing to write with, and I can't. Right. If I leave cuts in the paper, then at least I can count how many times it's been. Okay. Haruto, uh, I'll definitely, but, but would you always transport back to a point after having cut the paper every time? Or would you not always come back to before you cut the paper? And so, 
While I'm awake, I try to leave a cut in the paper so I remember how many times it's been, but I end up falling asleep soon after. After you sleep, what happens? The next time I wake up, all my memories will be gone. I think while you're while we are asleep, Dr. Achiki comes and he I see. Then my memory will also No. Your memories won't be wiped, Jeruto. But instead, you'll die. Why? <laughs> Why is any of this happening? Right. Seven years ago, although we both took the vaccine, Ruta wasn't saved. And then my memories. But why? Take the vaccine more quickly? Just be like, we don't have time to talk. Take the vaccine. Do it now. You know? Get a little bit of urgency in it? Right. Maybe Dr. Ichiki will know something. How many times have you reached this point in realizing and then, like, going, asking these questions to try and fix things up at the end here. Seven years, a little, a little too late. Dr. Achiki. Oh, hey, Owie. You're here early. Did you read the diary already? Are you going to read it after this? Doctor, it's, it's actually not my first time to talk to you like this at this moment. Hmm, what do you mean? You told me about time leaping just yesterday. Or did you lie when you said it was the fifth loop? No, it's not about that. Are you trying to trick me again? You did try to feign ignorance about time leaping yesterday. No. It's not about starting over from Monday. It's from way before that. I'm starting over again from seven years ago. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Are you aware of this, Achiki? Does this make sense to you? I see. It sounds absurd, but it does make sense at the same time. Both you and Haruto, seven years ago, huh? And I can't return to the past, huh? So, oh, they're filling him all in on how he has the wrong flower. That four years ago was a lie you came up with on the spot. Uh, Dr. Ichiki, you, you seem shocked. Yeah, I am. My life has been a... F uh, or out lie. It's impossible for me to return, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you, bruh. <laughs> Phew. And so you've been repeating time since seven years ago. Uh, Dr. Ichiki, the promise from yesterday? The one where I promised to tell you where the flowers are as long as you help me? I don't think I can keep my end of the deal. It's all right. It doesn't matter anymore. I can't go back anyway. And now that I do know that I can't go back, I should do everything to help you. Although I feel it'll be quite different to the plan of persuading the director to find the cure for LMD. I'm sorry, after saying such things yesterday, don't worry about it. But wow, I'm really surprised that both you and Haruto trusted each other and successfully went back seven years. Yes, we did, but... Oh, right, yes, of course, all the things that you just told me. <laughs> you said that even after both of you going back, Naruto dies. Yes. So, to recap, <laughs> for everyone who hasn't been paying attention, including myself, Achiki, apparently, the one who wiped your memories was me, and Naruto asked me to wipe your memories quite some time before that happened. And on the day of the experiment, by the time I arrived on the scene, both of you were definitely already unconscious. But if what you say is true, that means that the vaccine Haruto took didn't take effect. What gets me is that you didn't speak to him after the experiment. The first time round, you said that you talked to Haruto and he requested you to wipe my memories and transfer his lungs to me. But according to what you just told me, Haruto asked this when he knew about his dad. And he just asked you to erase my memories if something like that happened? I thought you were joking at first when you told me. I didn't think that you'd wipe my memories for something like that. Right. The lung transplant aside, the reason for wiping your memories. What was I... <laughs> you don't remember? Owie, I have a theory. 
Well, if my memory is without fault and what you say is true, this is the only possibility. What is it? Please tell me. The experiment seven years ago. Do you know why it was conducted? You told me seven years ago it's to check if time leaping can overcome death, right? Yes, the objective of the experiment was to find that out. Then the fact that this is happening now means... Oh, the experiment was rigged for someone to die? Wait a minute. But both Haruto and I made it back. Doesn't that mean that we both overcame that fate? To do such experiments in the first place, they must have had some hypotheses. Even I thought the moment you both returned proved your success, but perhaps if you try to erase someone's death by leaping back, someone else will die. It's possible that destiny states that one of you had to die in that experiment that day. Ooh, it's like a um, Final Destination. Some of my favorite corny movies. And maybe that was the real hypothesis. It's a pretty different question. It's also like not the first question. <laughs> you'd think you'd fall and figure out the uh, fixing death or erasing death thing first. And if it wasn't working out, then you could do, you know, this other version, the other thing. That's, but then even if I return, that would be the case. Hmm. Seems like somebody's coming. I didn't have any appointments. I'm a little worried, so I'll go and have a look. That's the arsonist. <laughs> They're burning it down. His own receptionist. Oh, owie. What are you doing? Oh, that is the receptionist, isn't it? What were they doing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore, man. I could access those ones just by watching ads. But now there's... Ooh, maybe these are more side stories and things. So maybe you do have to pay for some of these? Yes, you do have to buy the side stories. Not the epilogue stuff. So I think I can I can skip over and just go to episode 5 of the epilogue. It's not the side stories, but you know, I'm just less likely to do the side side story stuff, but it's going to have to wait and see. I'll focus on the epilogue. I see. Even if I take the vaccine, I still die, huh? Yeah. Well, seems like we're hooped. I see no way through. Oh, right. Regardless, you should still take the vaccine. My not working shouldn't be a reason for you not to take it. That's okay? I mean, yeah, right? You know, that's what you say to me every time. And I know that I have to take it. I just want to try saying that I won't take it. Since this is the only time I can talk to you, even though I have another seven years. I wanted to be a, a little mean and say things, you know? I, I just... Owie. <laughs> I'm sorry, Haruto. Don't worry about me. Anyway, Owie, how many times... Have you... Hey, Owie, you said that this isn't the first time you spoke to me like this. And that means you're the only one who is repeating this many times, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, man. If you're living to be... I don't know, you're, you're growing to the age of, like, 17 over and over and over again, you should dedicate some of those years to, like, research. You, you do this loop ten times. You'll have 70 years worth of youthful research. You can just, you know, I don't know, create a cure or do do something. <laughs> like Groundhog Day, Bill Murray, learn to play the trumpet, do something, you know? But I only have memories of this one time, so this means... Yeah, so this must mean I took the medicine just a bit before you did. Huh? That's why every time I come back, your memory resets, right? And that's why my memories remain even after you come back. What? So, what happened just then was kind of strange. I actually don't know how many times you've done this. 
since it's only possible that we're taking turns like a sandwich. <laughs> it's since it's also possible, not only possible. Sorry for the bad explanation. <laughs> that was a terrible analogy. It also took me a while until I understood it. I know what she means, like layering together, alternating, but like what kind of sand? It's like a Scooby-Doo sandwich, you know? <laughs> but I did have a lot of time to think about it, so... Owie, it's probably weird for me to say this, but if it's really hopeless, then you can... I I did come here prepared, that, but that's a lie. You trusted me. You trusted that I was going to do the same for you. That's... So, it's okay. You can trust me, too. But... What? Are you saying you can't trust me? Mm -hmm. No, it's not like that. But... What if this was some... Law? Like some sort of fate we can't overcome no matter what we do? Why? I think it's pretty cool to fight against your fate. You don't like that kind of thing? I mean... Fighting against fate seems... Oh, right! You're at the age where saying, saying things like that are embarrassing. I mean, you're 17 years old inside, so... <laughs> fighting against your fate. Yeah, I'll fight my fate. Are you embarrassed? Oh, it's not embarrassing. Then, do you think it's cool? Oh yeah, are you mentally peeling away from each other? Like, <laughs> if you guys grew up together now from this point, are you going to be... Uh, mentally a 17 year old well how he's mentally like 40 you know it's also not cool but that's not the point and owie you're 17 years old too um i'm oh <laughs> i don't actually mind after all i still look 10 years old <laughs> 10 years old is that something you want to be bragging about <laughs> I'm genuinely curious how many loops has she possibly done? This could get really weird and messed up. By the way, Ruto, how old do you think I really am? Like a god? A thousand years old? I guess you say you left ten times? Did she say that? Did she say ten? Around seventy years old? I see. Seventy, huh? Am I close? Yeah, around that, I guess. Well, it's true that we redo seven years since my memories are wiped. I forgot all of this for seven years. Oh, I forget all of this for seven years. So I don't really feel like much time has passed. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. She gets her memories back later on. She's only living blocks of like weeks or months or something at a time. She hasn't lived... She has gone through 70 years, but she hasn't, like, retained 70 years. But I do try to record how many times it's been with the method I told you, which doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I see. So, just like me, you remember everything only seven years later? Yeah, so don't worry. And each time I repeat time, I learn new things. Like that receptionist at the clinic, Mr. Kodoma. He's helped me find new files about time leaping. I see? Huh, wait, Mr. Kodoma, really? Yeah. Huh, Kai burnt down my house, he was far less helpful. You sure that's okay? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm worried. It's fine. Come on, loosen up, trust me. It's definitely fine. Owie, I will definitely save you. Haruto, no matter how many times I'll have to repeat, I will. No matter how many times. Another side story, then slip back over to, to this. That sums up everything I know about time leaping. Hmm, I guess there really isn't anything we can use to help Haruto. My father was very meticulous in destroying everything related to time leaping. I see. But my father isn't perfect, so there should still be a possibility. Yeah, we'll find a way. We'll research as much as we can, and if we still have no clue, we'll start again by time leaping back. Trial and error again and again. 
After all, you seem to have time on your side. Yeah, what Kodoma is saying would be our strategy. But Owie, we'd need to pick a deadline before you have to leap back. I would like to make that deadline 10 days. Isn't that a bit too short? I mean, after spending seven years, you're only giving her 10 days? Honestly, I'd like to make it shorter. There are already too many people who know about time leaping in this world. And from what we know through their example, history does seem to become more inevitable as time passes. For example, Kodoma, if you were to get into an accident and die, what would happen? We'd have to think of a way to save not only Haruto, but you too. We would just go back in time. What are you talking about? Uh, it, it doesn't matter how many people die in the next 10 days. There's people dying like every second. Cheeky, you're not affecting the experiment. Uh, me? Well, if I die, you can just leave me. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah, because the time travel. But I guess we have no choice. 10 days, huh? All right, then. Quickly, I am immediately on, on board. This is fine. I just don't understand Ichiki's arbitrary rule. I get it. You don't want Aoi to die. That would be the, a disaster. Anyone else dying? It does not matter. She's the, She specifically has to live, you know? Anything else? I just... I just come on, Ichiki. Think. And someone else call him out on it, you know? That's important, too, as well. Oh, so here we are going through all the different possible... Oh, that's funny. So we're leaping through this multiple times, where these are all the different loops of taking that main travel back. Then we're seeing those isolated story pieces laced in with some research. You've been here a couple times already, right? I wonder how many times I've been here with you. I don't remember for sure, but probably a couple of times. That's pretty imprecise. Your paper method is stupid, owie. I don't trust it. <laughs> That's my own take on that. From the way you said it, it sounds like you've been here with me as well. Yeah, I come here every time. I see, but why? Please, have a look at the notebook inside that drawer. This? There are cuts in the pages, right? Each time I leap back, I only manage to leave a cut before I lose my memories. It's to make sure I don't forget the number of times I've left after seven years, but you would always go back before you made the cut. It's such nonsense. I see. So, one, two, three, four, five, six? 14, 15 times? Repeating seven years, 15 times. That's more than 100 years. Uh, 105. I'm sorry. But there's nothing to apologize for, li literally. <laughs> but, you know, you're a lot more experienced than me if you think of it like this. <laughs> I guess I am. But... You've jumped back so many times and we still have no clue, huh? No matter how many times you go back, Ruto dies? An unavoidable fate. Yeah. Well, I'll help you out no matter how many times you need me to. If you ever find a, a me who doesn't cooperate, you can punch him. I, I give you permission. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kodoma. Oh, wait. You know what? Maybe I should just drink some bleach or something. I mean, it's not like I'm going to die in the next 10 days. Oh wait, that might lead to someone else being saved. Yeah, we have no idea what will happen, so that'll be the last resort. Is the concern that the time leaping would be saving Kodoma and then someone else would have to die in their place? That doesn't really work with my whole thing of like... How, the number of people that die on a daily basis is astronomical compared to a singular person, you know? But it's really dangerous, so let's leave it till the very end. Also, messed up way to decide to offer yourself on a whim there, dude. Yeah, I don't really want a painful ending. 
And I don't really know anybody who's died recently anyway. Hmm. Wait. Hey, your friend, what was her name? Wasn't there somebody who dies not this time, but in another time? You mean Saki? Or wait, does Saki die in one of the timelines? Yeah, her. She's doing fine now, right? Now that you mention it, each time when I jump back for the third time, she... But she's fine now. So why did she... Okay, let's look into that. Oh, but that's the third time, and I only get my memory back in the fifth time, so... Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. In, in, the, in the shorter term loops, in like the three day loop, Saki totally dies in like the third loop out of nowhere. So even if you say so, right, I see. But there's definitely nothing wrong with that Saki girl now, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Then in that third time, someone must have been saved when Saki dies. Oh wow, that's quite the complicated layer. Probably Hanoka, right? I guess you could look at it like that in the long term. Or perhaps... Saki didn't die at all. Oh, I think I may have suspected that, if not on my original playthrough, on my replay, that it seemed like it was something that was being used against us, like leverage or whatever. Well, it's not something we can rule out in the case of this hospital. To say that someone died of an illness, even if they are alive? I guess it's not unrealistic for this hospital. Well, no use talking about it. Let's get Dr. Achiki. Let's ask him about it. Okay. And so we came to ask you about it. Does it ring any bells? Uh, even if you ask me that, what about telling the world that someone died, but all they did was wipe their memories? Wiping their memories, perhaps, but to fake a death? I mean, isn't that my situation seven years ago? There aren't any others? Probably not. I see. Wait. I recall hearing my father talking to somebody about that a long time ago. Then it must be the same for Saki. But Mr. Kodoma, Dr. Achiki's father is no longer with us. Then Dr. Achiki must have done it instead. That's, well, possible. Dr. Achiki, do you remember any details about that? Hmm, it was a bit before my father died. I just go home and I heard him talking about something like that with someone, but it wasn't really a rare topic of conversation at my house, so... Seven years ago with Dr. Achiki's father. Wait, Mr. Kodoma, please give that to me. Dr. Achiki, was it this man in the picture? What, 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 what picture? What are you guys on about? I kind of lost the plot there, I think. Oh, right, yeah, that's him. Huh? Who's that? That's... Haruto's father. Okay... Skipping over Saki's story, although, like, it seems like it would be interesting. Like, I think that would give us some meaningful insight into things. All the side stories and things are just adding up. Episode, epilogue seven. Not episode. Stick with the naming conventions. Damn it, I can't find anything. Mr. Tatishi definitely wasn't killed seven years ago, but now, maybe he's already, I see. Yep, we're out of time this time, but I won't give up. Owie, ask me for help again next time, all right? Okay, thank you. It's easy enough to promise for your future future self, right? <laughs> you know, it's like not putting away your laundry when the when the dryer is done. You're like, ah, future me will worry about that. <laughs> Except this time, there's literal time travel involved. Here we are, some additional loops, or that might have just been one more loop. But he's he's back on board. He's ready to ready to go. Ready to keep things go nope more looping <laughs> jeez this time so this is yeah i'm sure this is the document mr tatishi left behind i thought that he must have left something behind so i looked everywhere and i finally found this 
But Mr. Tatishi is no longer... I see. So Ruto's father has already passed away. Someone can say it. If only I knew earlier. I would have... No, he didn't even tell me about his son, Ruto. So there would have been nothing I could have done. Mr. Kodoma. I wonder why he didn't invite me at that time. Mr. Tatishi. If he at least told me... He probably didn't want to get you involved in this mess. I only met him once when he gave me the camera, but I'm sure that is the reason. <laughs> okay, I'm convinced. I feel better after what you said. Huh? Dr. Achiki, let's just start to read through the documents. All right. This might take a bit of time, but let's get started. Um, then can I borrow the restroom first? Sure. Thank you. Well, I don't know if we really need to include that in the epilogue, do we? <laughs> just a little bit of a bathroom break. We'll just sit and wait that out for a couple mins. No one has anything to say, just stand awkwardly around. Are you sure you got over it? You seem like you really worshipped Ruto's father. Yeah, what? I don't, I don't really know what that thread of the story is. Hey, Dr. Achiki. Do you know how many times it's been for Aoi? I heard it was around 100. She wasn't clear on the exact number. What? If you have 100 loops worth of research, like and doing 10 days each time, you know, you have 1,000 days worth of research, then that means like it would get progressively harder because each time you came back, you'd have to waste days catch ever, catching everyone back up on everything you've done so far, and with each additional new amount of research, that would get harder and harder and harder. Job's not getting any easier. Like, what the hell? Dr. Achiki, think about it. Seven years. Seven bloody years. Yeah, but she doesn't remember it. So, you know, it's like, it's there and gone. It's easy for us to ask her to return each time, but it's long. She forgets the seven years, remembers, then grieves, then forgets the seven years again. And it's an endless loop of that cycle. But Dr. Achiki, how do you think she feels every time she's about to leap back seven years? Hmm, I've never thought about it. Or you probably thought about it every time, honestly. I was thinking how strong she is. And I want to support her. Yeah, Aoi, but I was wrong. When I went to the basement, she was crying. Behind our backs, she kept crying for Haruto. Mr. Tatishi was probably thinking about Haruto when he died. When he did what he did, okay? I'll make sure I carry on his wishes. Dr. Achiki, as long as she doesn't give up, we have to support her. To the very end. I agree. Yeah. Us from next time won't know about this though so we'll probably just keep having this conversation and hopefully we come to the same conclusion every time maybe there's a threshold though a breaking point of like 300 loops you're like this has gone on too far that's true <laughs> sorry to keep you guys waiting all right then let's read the document yeah um dr achiki is everything okay yeah sorry it's just such a crazy thing that I was bewildered. Um, you did mention something about your father? Do you mean... Yes, my father appears a lot in this file. Huh? Dr. Achiki's father? You? Your father? You can address him directly. <laughs> There's a transcript of a conversation in here. It's between my father and Haruto's father. Haruto's father and Dr. <laughs> just keep repeating yourselves. And in here, it's written that my father said this to Haruto's father. <laughs> what is with, like, the expository dialogue? You can just carry on. Just keep, t keep telling your story. What do you think? Don't you want to try causing the resonance? Resonance. Isn't that the cause of... Yes. In my understanding, resonance was the cause of LMD. But the way they refer to it seems a little different. What do you mean? It seems like Resonance is the ace card that my father and Kikisui's father had. In other words, um, 
method to cancel out all the time leaps of the past. That was a goal at some point? Jeez. That's already been an hour of epilogue. I mean, uh, there's some pauses in between and things where I have to bounce around in these menus and all that. I was going to bang this all out tonight, and it's just not going to happen. <laughs> there's so much more story still. It's wild. Some of it is still side stories and everything. God, there's so much in this game. It's kind of out of control. I... I'm just gonna have to pick up filming another day. Dang. Okay, I did not come prepared last night. There was just more game left to be played than I was prepared to sit down and do all at once, I suppose. Now, this is it. Now we're, we're plowing forward. I'm gonna string this all together and we'll, we'll have it all. Um, sorry, let me confirm. You found the files that my father left behind, right? How did it lead to the whole canceling all time leaps thing? And what's resonance? Ruto, I've had to do this like a hundred times, dude. <laughs> Maybe once just try to remember, try to listen. It's just a theory that's been raised. We aren't sure of the method yet, but just the theory itself is impressive enough. Yeah. So this resonance, I think Dr. Ichiki was talking about it. Um. It's the reason for LMD, right? Your father's documents also mentioned the resonance. This is originally a story from Dr. Ajiki's father, but when they conducted the time leap experiment long before we were born. Once one of the test subjects claimed that he caught a glimpse of another person's future. Well, Aoi seems to have like, had that for Haruto a little bit there, didn't she? At the st early on in the epilogue in like Owie's World 1, and when following experiments resulted in the same thing, the hospital decided to research it, and they called this phenomenon resonance. That's what's written here, but there's nothing written about the causes and the results. The only thing here is the personal observations of my father. I'll read them anyway. <laughs> A Kitsu carnation has the qualities to blur the boundaries between people. Its ability to share things meant it was often used in binding ceremonies by the locals. A researcher who found out about it decided to see if it can be used to control people's minds. And it was how the research began in the first place. But that was not all. Certain Ikitsu... Oh, that makes sense. That they found a use for the flower first, before time travel. Because that took several layers. There's the medicine and the flower and the smelling and all these things. The carnations had the ability to affect the concept of time. My research was to remove memories by connecting that of individuals. So you would transfer memories to someone else? Something like that? Meanwhile, what the special Ikitsu carnation could do was to connect memories of the individuals between different timelines. And this is what we currently call time leaving. But it's between the same individual. You're connecting their memory to their like past self. I'll continue. But there was a burning question in my mind. What will happen if we were to connect memories from another person while being connected to ourselves from the future? Oh boy. If we were to receive a flood of information from the future, wouldn't this cause an overload and become passed off to the other individual? And that is what my father believes to be the identity of resonance. That resonance? Is it possible to send memories to anyone? whenever they want? No, it still has to be between people who took the medicine and only in a certain time. And it can only be between people who are connected. Like friends, or the fact that like Aoi and Haruto clearly share a blood type and can be organ donors. Hmm. But the research for residents was put to a stop since they deemed it too dangerous. They also eventually found the natural cause for resonances and dealt with it so everything looked like it was solved, but it wasn't the case. One by one, everyone who experienced resonance fell to a strange disease. Uh, so that would be where LMD started to come into things. Yes, <laughs> and after that, they completely stopped researching about resonance. Well, <laughs> you know, the resonance was the problem of something else that then caused LMD. You would either stop the time leaping like, stopping studying the 
cause of the LMD isn't going to stop the LMD. You have to stop doing the thing that causes the resonance, you know? Oh, I, I, it's the wrong approach, I think. But the cause or the method for resonance is still unknown. Yeah, there's nothing written about it at all. And even if there were clues, we don't have any of the special Akitsu carnations. Right. But the fact that we don't know means that there is a possibility, right? Yeah, but we really don't know much about resonance at all. This is so much to unload on like a 10 year old. I guess 17. I guess he has, an, um, but he doesn't remember most of that. It's tough. It's tough to say. Either way, it's a lot. Dr. Achiki's father said that those who experience resonance are those who are swimming in endless memories. But I didn't really understand what he meant by that. Dr. Achiki said that apparently the requirements themselves are satisfied. Like, Dr. Achiki's father, Dr. Achiki and I are all connected, right? And I've been time leaping many times as well, so... Many times... Wait, but... How does that lead to being able to cancel out all the time leaps? Um, that's actually a different story. Director Kikasui and Dr. Ichiki's fathers were at the forefront of the research, but they were aware of how dangerous the research was, so when they were young, they planned to burn all the Ikitsu carnations. They controlled all the supply for the special ones. They probably trimmed those out at the well just to be sure. So, if they were to burn their stash, no one would be able to time leap anymore, right? I see. And not only that, in the case that time leaping technology was misused, they had a plan to cancel everything. It's wild that they didn't synthesize whatever the compound was in the flower, or, you know, like take a sample of it, put it in a microscope or a vial or some sort of long term storage to, to, to look at. If people were this invested in time travel technology, you'd think they'd synthesize something in this amount of time, but who knows how endlessly complex it might be. So both of them took the medicine to allow them to go back to the past, but due to a certain incident, Dr. Ichiki's father stopped trusting the director, and so he began to think of other ways to send memories back to his past self. I see. So that's what they meant by resonance? Yeah. And due to that incident, Dr. Ichiki's father had to take the medicine again, so he lost the time-leaping nerve tract that he had prepared. Therefore, he only had resonance to rely on. Okay... Hmm... But then why didn't Dr. Ichiki's father go with his plan? That... would have something to do with the incident I said before. Incident. Dr. Ichiki's father tried to save a child. That child had a heart condition like you, and was awaiting heart surgery with a 50 chance of success. So Dr. Ichiki's father took the medicine in case the surgery failed. And I think that was when he had a change of heart. I see. But why was that incident mentioned in my father's documents? Isn't that something he heard from Dr. Ichiki's father? That's... Owie? Yeah, I, I mean, that's incredible. You guys have found out so much. Say, if you're able to like find some more files and let Dr. Ichiki make medicine enabling resonance, not just me, everything including LMD can be solved because everything would be canceled out and, oh, but I see. If the LMD disease never existed, Kakaru, Hanoka, and you would never have been in the hospital, so we wouldn't have been friends. Yeah, but a lot of people wouldn't be dead. But I'm sure we'll be fine, just like how you and I met again. I'm sure we'll still meet all the others even without LMD. A world without LMD and time leaping is a much better world. I mean, yeah, I kind of think that's right. Hey, Ruto. I told you that Dr. Ichiki's father saved a child, right? Yeah? That child... was your mother. Ooh, I was waiting for the shoe to drop. <laughs> Usually that's like the end of a chapter, though. So, if we were to succeed and cancel out everything, Ruto, you wouldn't be born into this world. <laughs> we needed to string it along that extra step to 
be extra certain that that was clear. <laughs> Where it all began. Part nine. My mother? Yeah, she was the daughter of Dr. Achiki's father's cousin. Okay, so she was Dr. Achiki's second cousin. And she's the girl Dr. Achiki's father saved. So if we cancel all time leaping, then before you were born, your mother would have... <sighs> Ruto. I see. We really were relatives. Oh, with Dr. Achiki? Yeah, that's what Dr. Achiki said to Mr. Godome. He said I was the son of a relative. I thought it was just a lie he came up with to hide our relationship. Oh yeah, that is the start of the game, I think. But I think Dr. Achiki didn't actually know. Oh, so it was just a lie. Lies on lies. But it end up, ended up being real, huh? What do you, who, who'd have thought? What do we call this again? Many a true word is spoken in jest. <laughs> it's pretty powerful for like a little toddler. Many a true word is spoken in jest. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Now, I know. So, are you looking for a way other than resonance for me? Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, y you know, if you didn't exist, everybody would feel a bit different, right? I'll be sad too, and we still don't know how resonance works anyways, so I'll look for another way to save you. You should thank me, you know, I had Owie. Oh, right, I have to take the vaccine. This is probably the longest we've spoken. Alright, then I should- Owie, it's fine. Is it fine? You've done enough. If I was in your shoes, I'd probably do the same as you. But you don't have to do so much for me anymore. You don't have to find a way to save me, but you should work on the... What are you saying? Are you trying to act like you did seven years ago when you heard your dad died? I don't want to hear anything like that. Owie, I'm not doing this for the sake of anyone. I'm doing this for myself. I'm doing this because I want to. Seven years from now, I'm going to meet you again at the well and we'll laugh together. We promised. Honestly, I was scared. In the world seven years from now, the world without you, I was worried that maybe you wouldn't come. But you did the same thing for me. I mean, it was all reversed, but... You pressed the button to save me. And because of your heart, I was able to live. Maybe you got to live because of me, but it's okay now. You saved me, and I also got to save you. That's more than enough. So now you don't have- No! That's not true. Hey, Ruta, why aren't you saved even though we both took the vaccine? That's because I pressed the button first during the original experiment. Exactly. You were the first to press the button. When I was too scared to do anything, you were the one who saved me. And it's because of me that you can't be saved. Ooh, that's intense. She's obviously thought through that a lot. No, it's not. It doesn't matter who pressed it first. You saved me too. If you didn't save me, I wouldn't have lived for the next seven years. You've already done so much. Ruto, between... Parents and siblings, do you know which pairing is better for organ transplants? Huh? I'm, I don't know, maybe siblings? Hmm. Yes, because your sibling, I don't know, you have half of each of your parents' DNA, but it's a random assortment of half, so siblings, that's a bit of like a, a toss-up as well. They could have the identical genes to you, but it's unlikely, the genetics, getting too far down that. But even then, it's not a perfect match. Even between siblings, there's an absolute chance for rejection. Although, there's one exception, twins. So normally, even after the transplant, you have to continue going to the hospital to receive immunosuppressants. A perfect match for transplants between people with no blood relations is nothing short of a miracle. It'll be incredible if we're like that. But do you think that's really the case? 
Haven't you guys proven time and time again that it is? What do you mean? Are you saying that you and I are not strangers, but siblings? Or twins? Yeah. I've thought of that, but that's not true. Because I did take those immunosuppressants. I went to the hospital all the time, every month for seven years. So I knew about the lung transplant as well. Hey, Ruto, why didn't you know? Oh, oh, wait a minute. What do you mean? You knew about it? Yeah, then that means the heart transplant surgery from you was... But no, my parents and Dr. Achiki said. And there are surgical records, too. Dr. Achiki's not a specialist. If he was shown surgical records from another doctor, he'd trust them. Same with mom and dad. Ruto, you never had a heart condition in the first place. So the heart transplant itself was a lie. Do you understand now? Oh. Did someone make that up so that they could take the heart and send it somewhere else and be like, Bam, we put it in this kid. Case closed. Did I save you? No. I was the only one who was being saved. Did you and I save each other? No, it was just me being saved. All this time, I was the one saved by you. I never saved you. It was always just me, taking everything for granted. So, this time I'll be the one to save you. Although I wonder if that's true. Is this one of those things where they're gonna switch, switch flop, flip flop, switch, swatch, back and forth, you know? And they'll be like, ah, it was a real transplant. Because this game's kind of done that a few times with some big reveals. And I'm starting to realize once you've done that enough times, it makes the big reveals a little less big. Because you're like, hmm, you've like undone major plot points like this before. I'm not expecting that, but I wouldn't be surprised by it either. How is that for effectively? baiting and, and luring with a gripping story. This isn't an ad, it's relevant imagery that I put in here myself. Install that theory to your brain now. H level 100 big brain theory. <laughs> Part 10. <laughs> I see. Even if you figure out the method for resonance, you won't use it, huh? Well, if that's the story with Hifruto, I guess it can't be helped. Yes. Are you okay? You don't look so well. I'm okay. Anyway, Dr. Achiki, we only have 10 days, so let's hurry. Yeah, yeah. I'll take my leave. Owie, I was thinking. I should tell you the date. The date? The date of when? We should send the memories to my father, in case that we find the method for resonance. What's wrong? It's just that it's been quite a while since I've heard you say this, in regards to this subject. For some reason, Aoi's dialogue is always the tiniest bit more stilted than everyone else's. Like, the overall translation and English of this game is very strong, but hers more often than anyone else's. It's just the tiniest bit, tiniest bit off. I guess that makes me wonder if the authors of this were actually paid that much attention to give the characters distinct manners of speech and that's consistent throughout. It might be something like that even. Well, even if you have no intention of using it, it won't hurt to know the date. Anyway, this date is an important date that your father used to always mention, right? But when you try to say the exact date, you kind of forget it? So you take a deep breath, then you tell me that you have the date written down back in the clinic. I'm sorry, it's been a while, but I've already heard it a few times, so... No, it's fine, I'm surprised is all. Do I always follow you here? No, it's actually quite rare for you to follow me like this. You usually don't leave your clinic, so... Hmm. But recently, I feel like you've been leaving your clinic more frequently. Oh, that see, that's interesting. That's some of the stuff I was I was starting to wonder. That like, if him and Kadoma like 
uh, or having side conversations when they're alone being like, is, has this gone too far? Like, is this getting insane? And you know, it's been a hundred loops now. And now all of a sudden they're growing increasingly worried about her and more likely to tag along. The things are being altered strictly by doing it over and over, which is really neat. That's probably because I was worried about how you looked. Anyway, owie, how many times has it even been? You'll find out in this room. But please, wait a moment. Whenever you enter, there is a bit of wind. So I shall open the drawer. Okay, this is it. Whenever he enters, there's a bit of wind? What are you doing, just breaking wind in here, cheeky? Are these pieces of paper? Dr. Achiki. It's the 17,711th time. How long would it take you to count that? To, to like... You, did you waste one entire loop, like, counting those? Or one day of one loop counting those? Like, that's insanity. The 1,770th time to relive those seven years. I may have screwed that up. Oh, they're, they very specifically made it one seven seven eleven, so that it's 7 and 11 and that those numbers have recurring meaning, you know? <laughs> well, dang, son. You think there'd be paper littered everywhere? Right. I should leave a mark to not forget. <laughs> I found a smart way to do this. These cuts will be the first digit. Second digit is... All right. Now I can rip the rest of them up. Oh, so uh, like a long, uh, an envelope or whatever, it would be like one and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like you, you would make a series of cuts that represent that rather than, although sooner or later you'd have to, I don't even know, it's insane. <laughs> Rip it all up. There's a lot. I wonder if I've left more times than all these paper. I probably have. See, now at that point, even if you are just living 10 days at a time, if you did it 17,000 times, that's 170,000 days. Like, if you forget those seven years leading up to those 10 days, at this point, you have lived an insanely long life. Because a thousand years is like, or a thousand days is like three years. <laughs> You've, I can't even, I can't even do the math, but you're like a hundred years old. I don't even know, you're so, so old. <laughs> so that now was how ripped up the paper became? I haven't really counted the number, but how we? Dr. Achiki, uh, about what you said before, you don't have to tell me the date. I've already failed 17,710 times, so this will be my 17,711th. That's the sort of stuff you assume Bill Murray went through in Groundhog Day. How wait, you don't ha But I won't give up. I can't give up. Because I haven't given back anything to him yet. But he's given me so much. So, even if I fail another million times, I will not give up. It feels like a long, long time ago, and so much time has passed to the point I can barely remember, but I have to return to Haruto. Everything he did for me that day. So, I will do it as many times as I have to. Until we can meet again on our promised day. Owie's World 5. Epilogue part 11. <sighs> Owie, are you okay? I am. After leaping many times, there are times when I go out of breath like this. Dr. Cheeky said it's due to mental stress, like aging. It's so strange, since I'm only 10 years old, and physically your brain would be that of a 10 year old so really it's not even a fully formed brain which is kind of interesting and then you're cramming so many lifetimes worth of information into it yeah it might melt your brain a little bit actually <laughs> yeah i'm fine now haruto i'm sorry for saying weird things before but the story about the transplant is true it was written in the files your father left behind he heard it from dr achiki's father 
And my feelings are true, too. I'll never give up. Do you have to explain this to him 17,000 times? And you probably remember that every time, which is just, oh, it's exhausting. I was surprised about the transplant. Yeah. But I kept thinking. What is Owie talking about? Huh? Owie, you said that you were saved by me, right? Yeah. Is that because you got my lungs, or because I pressed the button first? The both of them, of course. Only those two? Um, no, there's more. You've saved me so many times. Then it's the same with me, too. It doesn't matter if I was sick or not. You always supported me. Remember the time you helped me out of the well? Yeah, how can I forget? You saved me then as well. It doesn't matter if it wasn't a sickness or a transplant. But compared to what I got from you, something like that, it, owie, that's not right. It's not because you pulled me out, honestly. I don't mind if you failed. It's because you worked really hard to make sure I wasn't lonely. You tried to help me because you cared. The end result doesn't matter. Owie, helping each other means the feeling of lending out a hand. That day, no, since the first time we met. You've always held my hand. So you were always saving me. So, Owie, it's okay now. You don't have to go through all this for me. <laughs> it's full of strange things this time around. It's the first time I've spoken to you so much. Oh, even before I came back, Dr. Achiki followed me to the basement and stuff happened. And this time I told you too much. When you say something like that, oh no. When you say something like that, it makes me waver. Then? But I can't. I won't give up. I thought about it for a bit. You know, back 6,000 attempts ago. Then why? Why did you say something like that? Huh? You said... You said with such a sad face that you're always going to be waiting. It's only because you said so. Because I had those words. That I was able to come back. Ruto? I didn't come back to see you make such a sad face. Hey, Ruto. Sad face and waiting? What are you talking about? You said it yourself. When I was sleeping from the vaccines... You said that you trust me to come back. Wait a minute. I said that to you while you were sleeping from the vaccines? Have you guys never discussed that part of all this yet? Yeah, that's what I remembered all this time. That's why. Oh, Haruto, you were sleeping, right? Yeah. Then, how do you know that? I don't know, things like pierce memories now and again, or through sleep, I think, in this world. It's not such a crazy thing. Fall asleep listening to the TV, you hear a little bit of that in your dream. I guess it's another thing entirely to, like, trust that that's true and real. Part 12. Huh? I wouldn't know. I was sleeping, but perhaps I could hear your voice? Maybe that's the case. Maybe it was your dream? But it's not that. I've never heard this story from you. What do you mean? You did say a lot of strange things were happening this time. Yeah, but it's different if it's for the first time. I've heard all the stories from you, even about when you sneaked in with Riku and when you changed the paint. This is the first time you told me that I said I'll be waiting for you. That's... I wonder why must be a reason. Did I do something different? Or did Dr. Achiki? No. Something like that would have affected things by now. Then why? Why is Haruto's memory different this time? You should probably take your vaccine at some point. Memory. Maybe. Resonance? Hmm. Maybe she didn't say it to him. As he was passed out, it resonated back. Perhaps there's a chance, but I haven't done anything like it. The last ten days, right. 
I can't think of any other time. Then Dr. Achiki must have... But when? Hey, Owie. Isn't it after you came back? Hmm? Well, your memories of that timeline where you saved me was erased, right? Because you die. Yeah, that's what happens, but... But that means I must have done something, and I already know what I'm going to do. What will you do? I'm gonna tell you about the story of the well to overwrite your memories. I say my farewells, that's it, I think. Yeah, that's probably it. I know. Did you hold my hand? Huh? My hand. Ooh. People who are connected that could be physically. When you said you'll be waiting for me, you were holding my hand. Huh? No, I, I wouldn't do that. Ew. <laughs> Come on. Owie, you're like 80 years old at this point. Don't be a prude. <laughs> Didn't you hold my hand? Like, like a handshake? No way. I, I would never. Gross. Cooties. Oh, I I see. I, I thought maybe. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. We held hands, and perhaps those who time leap can resonate when they hold hands? If it was that easy, we'd probably have done it many times already. Hmm. Hey, Howie. Has there never been something like... Howie? Oh, probably should have taken the vaccine. <laughs> But let's just try to shake our hands. Maybe although it didn't work before, because you've time leaped so much, now it's possible. Uh, Howie, can I hold your hand? No. Who? It would kind of be like shaking the hand of a ghost or something. What? Do you mean? Don't, Haruto. Don't come near me. Howie, what's wrong? Why are you suddenly? Because I've. Never... I've never touched you before. Ever? In the entirety of the time you guys have known each other? From that day. What about when you, like, helped him out of the well? How did you do that? I don't recall the specifics. I have questions. <laughs> we are now at what I have come to understand is the last part of the epilogue, but it's like an extra long part. It's as long as a, a third of the rest of the epilogue. Hey, Owie. What? Stick your hand out. Why? I'll give you a lucky charm. A lucky charm? Yeah, a charm to make you healthy. Somebody told me about it. It's okay. You don't have to. I'm fine. I see. Then let's go explore. Come on, this way. He's trying to like grab her hand. Uh, let's go. Just you know, lead the way. Don't don't pull. Don't don't drag. That was around when we first met. Why did I say no back then? He probably tried to cheer me up. I should have accepted that lucky charm. Hey, owie, did I wake you up? Oh, Dr. Achiki, uh, sorry, I, I fell asleep. It's okay, you looked tired. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the sleep, not for saying I looked like terrible. Oh, and while you were asleep, I read through Haruto's father's documents. So I have a general understanding of your situation, and... Maybe you've heard this many times already, but I'll still say it. You know... You might never find a way to save Haruto. Do you still want to continue? I... Should? No. Don't come near me. Owie. You're right. Maybe we'll resonate when we hold hands. Because I've, I've never held hands with you before. But we don't know of something like that. It will. I... I know it will, because you're different from how you always are. But I don't want this. I didn't repeat this many times just for it to end like this. Howie. We 
don't know until we try. And if we do, then we can at least... We should just try to hold hands. No. Never, she says. I got a cat scratching the carpet next to me. No, never. <laughs> Hide behind the door. <laughs> if I knew it would have ended like this, I should have purposely failed. Huh? The button. Then you would have had a chance to live, right? I would have died instead, but... Owie. But if everything will disappear, then maybe that's for the better? Everything? Yeah. Everything. The memories and everything else. Saki, Anoka, Riku, Kakaru, and all our memories from the hospital. My memories with you as well. All of it. I don't want that. Fruto, I don't want to forget. Those are my precious memories. They're all precious. I don't want to lose them. Gollum really ruined the word precious, didn't he? It's just, it's just hard to see anything else. Howie, can I go to your side? No. Then I'll stay here. <laughs> on either side of the door there reminds me a little bit of that double fine, Broken Age, the double fine game. Phew. Was, is that like his big nose sticking out or something? What is that? <laughs> Wasn't there a movie like this? The one we watched when we were kids? Uh, I don't remember. And we're still kids. I, I, I don't actually know what they'd be referring to. You know what? That'll give you a lucky charm. So give me your hand. No? Ruto, can I ask you something? Hmm? Maybe that's the charm. Maybe he's holding the charm there. There's... Actually, still one thing I haven't tried before. I've tried many things in the past, but I've never tried not taking the vaccine. Whenever we take it together, you always tell me, Owie, make sure you take it. You have to take it. And I always do. Because I didn't want a world where just you were saved. I wanted to live in a world where there's both of us. Hey, Ruto, how do you feel? In a world where everyone is saved, is it okay for you not to be there? Even if I'm fine with sacrificing myself, the others won't want that, huh? Yeah, that's so unfair. You always leave me behind. Ruto, I don't want that. Don't leave me, please. Owie, have you read that? Have you read the director in Kana's diary? Yep, more than ten thousand times. I guess you're trying to find addis additional insight by reading it more and more, confirming it didn't somehow change. I guess, but like, you know, you probably you probably really drove it home after like the tenth read. <laughs> You're really going over, oh, above and beyond, you know? Extracurricular, extra credit. Do you remember Kana saying that she likes happy endings? Yeah. I also like happy endings. But... But you'll not be there. It's okay. I will be there. And we will see each other again. No matter how many times we're reborn, no matter how many times we have to redo things, we'll find each other. We'll definitely meet again. How can you be so certain? You're not going to be born. Owie. So please find me. My place of birth, my name, my age. They all might be different, but I'll still find you. Naruto? So I want you to find me too. I'll be waiting. <sighs> I get what he's going for. You know, it's not quite how genetics and birth and things works. It's fine. <laughs> I'll, 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 we'll truck on. What? You don't have the confidence? Well, I'll certainly find you. I'll, I'll find you. I'll definitely find you. Naruto, even if it's not here, I'll, I'll definitely... Even if your name's different, even if your age is different, I'll keep looking until I find you, and I will. 
Yeah, I believe you. Can I hold your hand? Oh, come on. Cutie's gotta do that. Kinda reminds me of that time in the well. Although, it was the other way around then. No matter what I said, you wouldn't budge. Yeah, but because of that, I was able to climb out. Yeah, that was nice. Okay, so that's, that was the rescue. It was more of just company. Yep. Owie? I'll hold your hand. But did they just die? Is this my memory? Right. The world that disappeared. Well, this just got very existential, didn't it? I see. Or it's like the, the Tesseract in, in Interstellar. I want to say goodbye to everybody. Could I do that? I guess I can't. I've finally come this far. Transcended to a god. And I don't have much time. I wonder where is a good place? Somewhere we can talk without being bothered? For there looks nice. By the well? Perhaps, probably, just guessing, throwing it out there. Seems appropriate. Oh, Kakru. I'm sorry, but let me borrow you. <laughs> Whoa there, buddy. Hey, yeah, uh, it's been a while. It sure has, Dr. Achiki. Kakru, you seem a little different. Dr. Cheeky, it's me, Ruto. Long story short, I'm here because of time leaping and resonance. Uh, please don't ask anything, just tell me one thing. When was the important day your father mentioned? Wait, uh, I don't know what you mean. Dr. Cheeky, you promised Kana that you will help your friends, right? When I was a little kid. This must be so confusing for him. There had to have been a better way to do this. Could you not go into one of your own memories of yourself? I don't... I always thought of you as my friend. So, please, help me, Dr. Ajiki. <sighs> big, big loaded question there, huh? The date was 41 years ago on XXX. Thank you very much. I'll see you again. Do, 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 and then just fly, flies away, right? Haruto. Goodbye, everyone. What was that all? What what was all that about, Owie? Haruto, I I just yeah, me too. I think the preparations are ready. Is the camera supposed to be off center? What do you mean by preparations? So I'll go to your side. Oh. Don't let go of your hand. What? Ruto? There we go. Okay. I saw the world that disappeared. Yep. The world I repeated over and over again, but still couldn't save you. Yeah. Ruto, are you really going to go? Yeah, I asked Dr. Achiki for the date. I see. I recall Dr. Achiki saying that we can't do this continuously. Our brain can't handle it or something. Ruta, will you be okay? I don't think so. Idiot. Hey, Ruto. I won't forget. Huh? I mean, I'm not going to think of this as a goodbye anymore. I'm going to believe that I can meet you again. Owie. You think I'm just acting tough, right? since I was so against it just a moment ago. I've failed more than 10,000 times. No matter how many times I tried, I couldn't save you. I kept failing. But there was something I never failed at, and that was not forgetting about you. Even if I failed a hundred times or a thousand times, I never forgot about you. So... I won't forget you the next time, either. I'll never forget. Howie. Haruto, even if you forget, I'll make sure to find you. No matter where you are, I'll find you again. So prepare yourself. Okay. 
This time I'll do the waiting. Yep. I guess it's time. Yeah, but what should we do? We have to make a stronger resonance. Yeah. Um, well, we're holding hands now, so maybe something more than that? Hold both hands? <laughs> well, I do have an idea, but it's kind of... <laughs> You're Ruto. Are you embarrassed? Can you really make fun of him? You wouldn't hold his hand a second ago. What are you saying? It's not about being embarrassed or anything. Oh, really? Ooh. <laughs> so what are you going to do? Uh, um, you, you know, Howie, you seem embarrassed about it too be before, and we were just holding hands. You say that, but you guys are going to have a fight now. <laughs> <laughs> like right at the end here, right at this crucial moment. I'm only 10 years old. Of course I'd be embarrassed. 10 years old. How many times have you left again? 10,000 times 7. Hey, stop. You don't have to do the math. And if we're gonna buy, we're going by that. What? I, I'm just 17 years old though. Uh, it doesn't matter, okay? Anyway, did you decide on what you're gonna do? If you can't do it, then, owie, close your eyes. Huh? Please, close your eyes. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll close them. They're closed. And, and what are you gonna do now? You didn't tell me anything. Are, are you gonna hu hug me? Or, or use your, your, your lips? Haruto? All right. What do you mean, all right? I was just mentally preparing myself. What? Only now? <laughs> I was just actually just remembering things. Remembering? Yeah, about everything. I see. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll go now. Shuttle into the hangar. Here comes the airplane. Naruto, I'll never forget you, okay? Okay. So? Please wait for me, Haruto. I will. It's a promise, okay? I don't know, did you guys keep your other promise? Seven years later? The whole thing? I don't know, Haruto. <laughs> this doesn't seem like it'll end, huh? Then you should say the last thing. Okay. I'll tell you the words I never forgot. I'll give them back to you. Okay. See you, Owie. I'll be waiting for you. Seven years from now. That's sweet. For half a second, I thought the words he was giving back, that tender moment, was going to be, see you later. <laughs> you know? It almost seemed like that's all it was going to be. Oh, man. I thought... Epilogue was notably longer than that. I really don't know what happened with all that. I don't even know if all the side stories and things would explain it. It leaves it on a nice, very optimistic note. But honestly, in a way, the original ending was almost more optimistic. Because it was like, ah, oh, you're rooting for them. You hope, you hope that... Uh, Owie can go through it and do the whole thing and, and be the same and, you know, they'll they'll join back up. And then you have this really satisfying moment of like, oh, Haruto was second. They've already done it. This is the happy ending. It's fully, it's a complete circle. You know, it's already happened. Good. We, we can step away from this thinking that they found each other again and that it, it all worked out and they succeeded in their experiment against all odds, against astronomical you know, fiddlings of fate and destiny and things. And then the epilogue, they spend infinite eons trying to change other things that we didn't even know were problems until the epilogue. And then it's like, well, hopefully, I guess they had a kiss, a nice, nice kiss. <laughs> but it does come with like this weight of like, I don't even know. Hey, 
Hanoka, wait up. Okay, well, th this is what I was waiting on, I think. Hurry up, Owie. You don't have to hurry so much. But, but if we don't hurry, we might miss it. Hanoka's old and walking around. They, this is like their older version, their 17-year-old. Yeah, but... Saki, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Where's Hanoka? Did she go already? Yeah, she just rushed ahead. <laughs> then we better get going too. Yeah. Oh, that journalist. He sure just loves it out here. Oh, wait. <laughs> right, it's not a whole different time. This is presumably around the same time we did all this with Aruto. Wait, Kana. So that would mean that, like, LMD had been cured, right? What? You said that you'll carry me in your arms and fly? Did I? Then what was your dream when you were young? Oh. Hmm. Saki? Wasn't your appointment in the afternoon? Ah, remember? It's the flowers. Oh, right. It's already been a year, huh? Time sure flies. It sure does. I hope they come. Mm, right. I hope so too. So, everyone with LMD lived, but there were other children with other problems, right? Well, let's get going. Yeah. Owie? Cheer up. It's okay. I'm fine. Okay, then. Hey, hey, can I stay here for a bit longer? Um, yeah, sure. Oh, does she, does she remember Haruto, but no one else ever met him? Is that kind of what happened? I'll go and see Saki and the others then. See you later. Okay. I think that's all that moment would have been. Oh, so many nice flowers. Specifically the carnations. <sighs> They're blooming this year. <laughs> oh, here it is. Uh... Um, oh, this is the place. Yep, these are the flowers. The ones where you can dream if you smell them. Are you sure that's true? Why don't you give it a try? Just a couple of randos, huh? Maybe one of them's Haruto reborn. Did they have a familiar smell? Just randos. I guess I have to go. We'll come again next year. Although, I mean, shouldn't they only bloom every seven years and all that, you know? See you. Whoa. Hold up. <laughs> He phased into existence right at the right appropriate moment. If you had crossed that threshold a second later, you guys might have missed passing each other, assuming that's how these dimensional planes of existence work. Uh, um, are you, uh, perhaps, here for a promise? I'm sorry, who are you? And what are you talking about? Oh, sorry. It's nothing. He's yanking her chain, isn't he? Pulling her bow. <laughs> it's a terrible joke. That's earth-shattering, heartbreaking stuff. I'm sorry. I was joking. Long time no see. Uh, um, owie. Um, huh? What? Was I wrong? I swear the memo my uncle left me said... Wait, do you, do you... Are you going off a memo, though? You don't really, like, remember? Uh, are, are you not Owie? Oh, his uncle. Or, like, second uncle or whatever would be a cheeky, right? Oh. 
God. Um. Well, now she's messing with him, right? You gotta get him back. <laughs> ah, pranks. Got, got him. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. Aruto. The end. They did it. Other. See, that's what I—that's what I needed. I'm glad I rambled enough through the credits to circle back around to the proper ending, because otherwise, you know, that was left enough up in the air that it would be one heck of a bummer. <laughs> I am happy to have seen it through. I, speaking of promises, I'm not promising the side stories. Not even seven years from now. <laughs> <laughs> it took me so long to get around to this and then kind of impulse decided, you know what, I, I got to do the epilogues as well. But it's, I, I just think I've, I've gotten what I want from the game personally. And I'm sure exploring the side stories and stuff is really cool additional content. I think it's awesome actually that these devs don't even charge for that, that you can just watch an ad. 30 second or less ad and have access to that that's so cool it's something i would personally keep in mind if i ever made like a story based mobile game because i think that's just brilliant and I, I don't know i i'm a fan of that for sure i'm a fan of the game it was nice it was so much more complex and uh clearly more well thought out than it seemed at first there were several landmark moments across those 40 chapters where i was like this game is so convoluted and so self-contradictory and so many plot holes and so just a mess. I was quite frustrated with it at a couple times, but I think it really did come together. Uh, and I'm thoroughly impressed. But you know, the, the side stories and everything, learning more about Saki and, and, and uh, Kodoma especially seems like a little bit of a silly one to me because the story really is Haruto's and Aoi's. And so, yes, it's neat that all of that exists. But some of my least favorite parts of the game were kind of the side stories with the director and Kana and stuff. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just... It's cool that it exists and it's readily available. But I kind of am happy and satisfied. And so I, I do not plan to do the side stories. But I'm very happy to have seen it through the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your patience through all this. I will ramble no longer and... Let you carry on with your lives. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Genuinely. And I'll see you again soon.